I got two buns, one for the head and one for my my head. Hair in my mouth. Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna fold it and glue it. I can't do this with one hand. Fuck these DIYs. What the hell, dude? Ugh. Hey Bam Bam, it's Cece. Today I'm going to be showing you a DIY. This DIY is for this fabulous, amazing ponytail. I constructed a ponytail out of extensions. Now, let me just explain myself because I don't think I explained it very well while I was filming the video. I had created like a halo extensions for myself, which is basically like a half a head of hair that has a little wire that goes here and hides underneath of your hair. And so it looks like you have a full head of extensions, but it's all one piece. Okay, so that's what I did first. I constructed this halo set of extensions out of individual tape-in extensions that weren't being used. So I hot glued all the tape-in extensions onto ribbon, made it into a halo. So it's a very heavy, this is all one piece. So I modeled this ponytail after a ponytail that I bought, which cost me like 200 something dollars. That ponytail is very thin and light, and now I kind of understand why they make ponytails thin and light, because they one, they give you a huge headache, two, it's so heavy, it's difficult to get it to stick onto your head. So I finally figured it out at the very tail end of making this video. You're welcome. Before we get into the video, Video, make sure that you like subscribe and of course you can leave me a comment below I love to talk to you guys in the comments. Let me just get it into it. I don't know what I'm doing I'm just kind of I do these type of projects all the time when I'm by myself I just don't happen to film them because I don't it's a learning process like I figure it out as I go So that's why it's difficult for me to film. I'm gonna attempt to do this but uh, If it doesn't work out, I don't know this video might not even see the light of day. I'm gonna attempt to copy this ponytail. It's like a super long, it's a fabulous ponytail, but it's a little thin and I want to recreate it. And I have this like halo extensions, like half head of hair. And I want to turn this into a ponytail. So I don't know how this is going to work. Basically we want to make this look like this. Okay, so I got my Velcro. And then I also have one of these. Okay, so what I decided to do was to cut the thing in half. Ultimately, I feel like I could have two different ponytails, but I kind of, instead of making pigtails, I kind of want to make one big fat ponytail. So I think I'm going to glue this one to here, to the base of this one. And then it's still fatter than this. So uh, we're just going to try it. I'm literally so nervous to do this because I don't want to ruin the hair. Well, I'm going to glue this. Ah! I'm gonna glue it together. I'm gonna do it, okay. So I glued the second half underneath of the first half and then I just kind of like reshaped it by holding the tip of this against and melting the glue a little bit and then reshaping it so it made kind of like this U shape. And then we're gonna put the clip in here. Okay, I glued that on. So we're looking kind of similar, you know. And now I have to create this thing with the hair on the edge of it. Looks like just a piece of Velcro with fuzzy on one side and sticky on the other. And then they wrapped some hair around it. I can do that. Okay, so I just measured my piece and then I left a little bit of extra room in case I needed it for the hair to go on to the end. I can always cut it later. And I'm in the process of gluing it together, the backs of them so that the sticky part is on the opposite side of the fuzzy part. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue this little extra piece of hair that I had. This is so hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I'm gonna glue it here and then I'm gonna fold it and glue it. I can't do this with one hand. Fuck these DIYs. What the hell, dude? Ugh. So I did it. I wrapped the hair around. The last thing that we're gonna do is attach this piece right here and then we'll be done with the ponytail okay so here we have the real ponytail that's actually like sewn together and then we have my ponytail which is all glued together okay so i feel like it's moment of truth here we have our ponytail i just like curled it up a little bit this don't worry about this is the side piece something tells me this ponytail might look really cute straight as well but whatever okay so this is the way I do my ponytails I put it in a really high pony I put some hairspray in it and then I twist it like this and I wrap it all the way around 
And then I take a hair tie like that. I'm literally so nervous about this because we just spent so long constructing this thing. But if this works, bitch, I'm gonna do it to like all my extensions. <laughs> I kind of feel like this ponytail might fall apart if I like go dancing in it or something. We're going to, oh God, here we go. Is the comb even gonna work? Okay, the comb's in. Oh my God, this might work. <laughs> pull it around the bun. We're gonna pull this around the bun. Move the whole ponytail up and wrap this around. Okay, something I just realized. <laughs> this Velcro has nothing to stick to. What we need is an extended piece on this side that is fuzzy to stick to something. Okay, ponytail is too wide. This is good to know. So I'm going to put a little extension piece here that is the fuzzy part. Okay, so what I did was I put the fuzzy part here so that it can actually like wrap around and underneath of my bun. It can um, attach to itself through the Velcro here. And we're gonna hope that uh, this works. First, the comb, stick it in there and have it come around this side. Like it's so heavy, it's not gonna stay in. Okay, so the problem that we had was, it's my fault. It's my fault. I wanted to use all the hair because I was like, oh, I want to make this huge fucking ponytail, you know? Well, ugh. hair in my mouth, ew. I was like, oh, I'll just round it like this around the pony, which I should not have done. I should have made it, I should have cut it, you know, like here and made it a smaller ponytail. So I will not be defeated. I think the problem is I need more surface area of the bun to grab onto. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna put, actually put my hair into pigtails, like really close together. The trick is to make it not look like you have a seam. Not to mention I'm sweating my balls off. So I'm gonna change into a shirt. Oh, what is that, a CC Panda shirt you're wearing? Yes, it is. Our shirt's coming soon. We'll let you know all about that. I think I need to make two buns so that the ponytail can go around both the buns and have more surface area to go around, if that makes any sense. I got two buns, one for the head and one for my, my head. The other modification I'm gonna make is you see this long pin? I'm going to stick it into here and poke that into my ponytail. Pin sticking out. Oh God, that one just fell out already. Okay. This is why I don't film DIYs. Where did it go? Oh, I just heard it. We're gonna attempt to stick these two things, one into each bun, okay? Go in the bun. How do I press this one in? Get behind it, gotta get behind it. Okay, and this piece we're gonna wrap behind it as well. So I gotta connect. Velcro is back here. Okay, the Velcro stuck on. Oh, this feels secure as fuck. Okay, that was it. Getting those two little pieces into the buns, that was the ticket. Cause see how much wider the ponytail is? Oh my God, this is like a princess fucking ponytail now. It's on and popping now. Oh, you thought you could defeat Sienna Spalding TV? Nah, bitch, never. We always find a way. We always find a way. Oh my God, it's amazing. This feels good. This feels like it's gonna stay on my head. <laughs> did I do it? Did I fucking do it? Oh my God, I did it. I fucking did it. Okay, let's see. Maybe that video wasn't the best for showing it. So here's the back. Hopefully it looks good. <laughs> So if you want to try this at home, have fun. You could probably f do it with a part of a wig. You can do it with your extensions. Clip and extensions, just take the clips off and then you can hot glue it onto a ribbon like I did. You know, there's ways, there's ways. You gotta use your noggin. Please subscribles if you haven't already, but I'm sure you have. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.